Hi, my name is Aaron Fox, and I'm a senior solutions engineer here at CircleCI. And today I'm going to talk to you about CircleCI and using dynamic configuration. Typically, development teams will operate with either a monorepo or a multi-repo. A multi-repo is a design where we have one repository in our VCS per project. A monorepo is where we have a single repository that contains many projects. The pros and cons of each are quite simple. With a multi-repo, we can separate each project and execute each project in our CICD pipeline independent of the others. However, this will often require us to have dependencies, integrations, etc. set up for each individual project. There could be a small bit of duplication between projects as a result. In a monorepo type architecture, we then declare our dependencies once, our integrations, and anything else we need that is common across all projects. The downside of a monorepo in this instance is it can be difficult to integrate this into a CICD environment, as all of our projects are encapsulated into one repository. CircleCI solves this by leveraging dynamic config to work really effectively and smoothly with monorepos. In a multi-repo environment on CircleCI, we will have all of our individual all of our individual projects, and each of these projects that are set up with CircleCI will follow this uh, setup. You will have your dot CircleCI directory, and within that, the config.yaml, followed by all of the other files and directories which are part and parcel of the project. In a monorepo type setup, we will still have our single dot CircleCI directory. We'll have our master config.yaml, but we may also have other conditional or secondary or tertiary configuration files, which will be appended on to the master file, depending on the parameters or conditions that have been satisfied. This then allows us to use projects A, B, C, and thereafter in a very smooth and effective way. To set up dynamic config and enable these in our workflows in CircleCI, we essentially jump to the project settings of our project, hit on the advanced tab, and just toggle this setting to true. And we have lots of really good and informative documentation on our CircleCI website, getting started with CircleCI dynamic configuration. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump into the CircleCI UI, and we're gonna see a short demo of using dynamic configuration with CircleCI. Here in our Circle CI UI, I have a project on screen on my dashboard. And this is part of my dynamic config demo here. If we see at the very beginning of this project's life cycle with Circle CI, I had to enable the setting we just touched upon. Once that's done, I can effectively run my pipelines which contain dynamic config. If we jump into the configuration file for this for a moment, we can see what it looks like. I've specified setup is equal to true. This means that we're dealing with a dynamic configuration. I've specified my path filtering ORP here in CircleCI, and this allows me to uh, filter based on parameters or based on individual files that have been um, altered or committed or pushed in the repository to trigger various aspects of my configuration file. Here in my workflow, I have my um, continue config.yaml. So this particular repository contains my dot CircleCI directory with my config.yaml and it also contains a secondary configuration file continue-config.yaml. And based on the parameters that are satisfied or the files that have been um, edited and pushed in the repository, different aspects of the continue.config.yaml will be appended on to the master uh, config.yaml and executed. And if we jump back in here to our workflows, we can see this in action. So I have my latest run here. So if I look at this one here, um, I have done two different things. The first is here, I've just executed my pipeline. And the second being, I've actually gone into a particular file, which is um, the docs file. And I've actually made a change to the docs file. And that then has triggered the pipeline um, and it has only run the parts of the config 
in the continue conflict at YAML, which are relevant to the docs pipeline. And if we look at this in a, a more real world example, um, if I had multiple projects in my monorepo and I'm going to change to an individual project in there using path filtering and dynamic configuration, CircleCI would trigger the master config.yaml would be referenced and run and it would have pinned on to that only the configuration relevant to the project that I have just made a commit or a change to. And this allows us to use monorepos in CircleCI in very much the same smooth, effective and efficient manner that we use multi-repos today as well. Thank you for watching.